Tom Brady's just about done. It could be his next game he plays, it could be a year from now, but he is going to fall off a cliff. Will it be this year? Not necessarily. I could see Brady, if he gets through the year without an injury, putting up big numbers, but then it'll be next. He'll, he'll be terrible by the middle of next season. No one will remember I said this now, and my prophecy will I'll get remember. no recognition. And the 2017 AP Most Valuable Player is Tom Brady, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Brady. And let me point out that while Brady was amazing this year, in a Belichick system, that works, obviously. Did we see the Brady clip? We won't know until next year. What I said was 18 months. Within 18 months, he was going to fall off the cliff. Brady's looking left, he had white, slides up, five time. Brady firing for McCarron, holding on! Got Eric Decker, slot left. Three for one. James White, that's on the 10. Five to the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots! At this point, I think it is mind over matter. He's in a great organization. He looks like he's still got it, but that is the nature of the cliff. I don't think no. Tom Brady will be a great quarterback this season. But willing to acknowledge and admit the obvious, which is that you're already wrong. You're already I'm not wrong. wrong. The season starts. Not wrong How? until the season starts. How? Because none of this stuff counts. When the season starts, <laughs> if he's still a great quarterback, I'll be wrong. If he's great in game one, I'll have been proven wrong. He will have broken the record for longevity. Is this the Brady Cliff game? Yes, it is. Tom Brady this week, Molly, Stephen will be reading all about it after the game. Tom <laughs> Brady will look like just a, an NFL quarterback week one. Third and 12. Brady from the gun. Fires in, and Gronkowski has it. Was he across the pylon? Yes, he was. Touchdown, New England. First and 10 from the 12. Brady, wide open is White. White makes a cut. He's in for the touchdown. Watching this quarter, Brady looking the end zone again, wide open. It is Dorsett with the catch and the touchdown. Has, has Max been talking about falling off the cliff for like two years? Yeah. yeah. For like two years. Time out, time out. July 25th, 2016. Oh. Wow, you got it. You got the, he got the date yeah. and everything, That's, Matt. But since you opened your big flap, <laughs> and, and, and on July 25th, 2016, and you have been wrong ever since, I've said it. Ryan Clark has said it. Damian Woody has said it. Jeff Saturday has said it. Will Kane has said it. Damn it, the producers have said it. Fans have said it. And Fourth and six for New England. Brady away Logan Ryan Max yeah. how worried are you about <clears throat> Tom Brady very I mean I've been t I, listen falling off the cliff does not mean you can never have a good game yeah it means you're not the same anymore the six. here's Brady down the middle and it's knocked down and completes intended for Edelman Are we watching Brady fall off the cliff? Yes, we are. Thank you. Yes, we are. Is he an elite quarterback right now? I mean, I still think he is. You, you have faith that he is, but is he giving you evidence that he is? First target of the day for Gronkowski. Sets up New England. Inside the 20. In stride. Catch made. James White. Touchdown, Patriots. Inside the Jets' 20. 
Brady. Lost one. End zone. Touchdown. Burkhead, the over-the-shoulder grab. Fake the jet sweep. Brady rifles. Touchdown. Julian Edelman. But is he giving you evidence that he is? All kinds of time for Brady to go for it. To the end zone, and it's caught for the touchdown. Philip Dorsett. This place is rocking now. Brady play action. Trying to sound him, and he's able to connect with that one. Mike Burkett, 14. Did he prove he's the best quarterback in the NFL? Yeah. I mean, listen, I'm an I'm a Aaron Rodgers guy mm -hmm. in terms of talent, and I think that Aaron Rodgers, if he was on New England, would be doing what we see Tom Brady do as a football player. But that doesn't take anything away from what we've seen Tom Brady do. And then when you take into account what you hear Robert Kraft say about him, when you hear Bill Belichick say about him, what you hear his teammates say about him, and the fact that we don't hear those kind of things about Aaron Rodgers. That's why you have to compartmentalize by talking about talent <clears throat> compared to overall production. Tom Brady, there was, I never thought that I would reach a point in my lifetime where I would talk about Tom Brady on an elevated level above Joe Montana, but I'm there. This dude is something special. And uh, his leadership, his willingness to embrace challenges and to overcome them time and time again. He's on the field, he's hugging Chris Hogan, and he's like, I'm too old, you're too slow. You know, we don't have any skilled players, and look what we've done. I can't repeat the rest of what he supposedly said. You've got that going on, and then you think about you know, going up against Patrick Mahomes and how he goes after a game and he asks security quietly, can I get Patrick Mahomes? Can I talk to him for a second? And they were escorted into a private room because he recognizes young greatness when he sees it and wants to encourage the kid along. There are special, special qualities that Tom Brady has that speaks to his level of greatness um, as a player and as a leader and all of those things come together in moments like yesterday because I think if you're just great without leadership but or if you're a, leadership, a leader without the greatness you lose that game yesterday he won because he has both both 
And that's what I think makes it special. And it's actually a teachable moment for a lot of guys out there who aspire to be great at whatever they do. It's real inspiration. What on earth happened last night? Mm. Tom Brady. Mm. I didn't know goats mm. like cold weather. Really? Yeah. Go, you're going goat. I like that. You know what, Skip? I fought it as long as I could, but I can't fight it anymore. Ooh, good for you. Moving forward from this day on, I will never, ever say again. Mm. Aaron Rodgers is better than Tom. Brady. Really? You'll Done. never, ever say it can't again? It. Did we get that on tape? That could, that could you change. Can, no, no, this is not going to change. This is it. Because okay. the thing is, Skip, is that, look, there have been other great quarterbacks. There have been other great quarterbacks to have great moments. But I don't believe there's been a quarterback that can call upon his greatness time after time when they need it the most. And when they needed it the most, when, he'd have, when he needs to be absolutely great, he can do it. Give Kansas City credit. They got him in third down, and I was like, okay, you get him in third down, but you couldn't, they couldn't get him off the field in yep. overtime. But when Tom Brady needs to call upon his greatness, um, the first half, Skip, he, you know, he did what he needed to do. He took some little short passes. They were third and short. They ran the ball, wouldn't let Mahomes get the ball, and wouldn't let him uh, get the ball. But in the second half, when the game was going back and forth, they needed Tom Brady to be great. No, they needed him to be more than great. And whatever that is, he was. I've never seen anything like this. If you play the game, you have an understanding, you have a greater appreciation mm -hmm. for what Tom Brady's doing. Skip, I was very fortunate. In a four-year time, four-year span, 97, 98, missed 99, 2000, I won the Super Bowl. But I had to go to a different team to get that done. For them to be back in this situation again, third year in a row, with an opportunity to win their third championship in four years, fourth championship in five years. Skip, I don't think people realize how difficult that is. I think they, they think this is like, this is normal. It's not normal. You better admire this because you're never going to see it again. You're never, ever in your life. And we were just uh, discussing last night on the show, uh, Dion and I and uh, LT. I believe this is the greatest dynasty. Because if you look at the 60s Celtics, Skip, they're only eight teams. To do what they're doing in free agency, to do what they do, and the turnover that you have from year to year on a roster, Coach Belichick, guys leave, look like he's going to lose another defensive guy for them to do this. And I think this, look, this won't top the Super Bowls in Tom Brady when he's, okay, Tom ranked him. Obviously the Super Bowls. But this might be one of his crowning achievements. He'll let Knight think about and admire this piece that he painted yesterday. Because to go on the road and to beat this high power of an offense is unbelievable. And he needed every ounce of his greatness. And he came through with fly flying colors. Mm. They're going to the Super Bowl for the ninth time in 19 seasons. Mm. If somebody would have told me that at the beginning of the year. If someone would have ever told me, you think someone would go to 19, go to nine Super Bowls? And the no. No. For some of our younger viewers out there, seriously, from my heart, it, it's a privilege to get to watch this man operate. Mm -hmm. That was hard yesterday. What he's done in the past is hard in the fourth quarter against the Legion of Boom in the Super Bowl, or down 28 to three to Atlanta throwing for 246 just in the fourth quarter in overtime to bring them all the way back to win in overtime. It's just hard. And he keeps doing it at such high levels. And that was, again, the highest level yesterday. So in the end, it, uh, for me, again, I'm not a Patriot fan. I, he just won me over a long time ago. Thomas Edward Patrick Brady. He won me over because he is the Michael Jordan of the National Football League, except he's in a completely misleading package.